You're watching Telecom TV's exclusive video coverage of the Gen 15 event from Dallas. And joining me now is Mark Biebrick, who is Senior Director of Strategy for SDN and NFV Solutions at NEC Netcracker. Mark, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Uh, thanks for having me, Guy. Now, if it's true that our current OSS BSS infrastructure really sort of lacks the ability to support new dynamic agile services, what can we do to change it? Well, I think the first thing we can do is start to develop new orchestration solutions that are designed, purpose designed, for real-time, on-demand, programmable services and networks. And when you say orchestration, what exactly does that mean? Well, orchestration can be thought of really along three different lines. Uh, the first is at the data center le level. Uh, typically, that might be called cloud orchestration. You know, the ability to spin up and spin down virtual machines in a data center. Uh, the, next, the next is a resource orchestration, uh, which basically manages the life cycle of virtual network functions and you know, the rest of the virtual infrastructure. Being able to really manage a particular domain within uh, a virtual network function environment. And then the next is service level orchestration, which really ties together both the physical and the virtual network infrastructure. And this is really important because this is what's going to tie into the existing OSS and BSS layer in order to provide, to be able to provision, fulfill and assure services in a hybrid network environment. So we're not just talking about uh, cutting out and replacing legacy, we, we have to work with what we've got. We absolutely have to work with what we got, and many aspects of the OSS and BSS uh, environment today need to be modernized. So, for example, rating and charging needs to evolve to support real-time, uh, on-demand business models. Um, we need partner management, for example, that can scale to support a broadening ecosystem of VNF partners and vendors. Uh, you know, we need policy that can be uh, incorporated into all layers of orchestration, uh, so that we're making decisions in real time based on user and network policy. Uh, we need to be able to monitor and um, you know, understand you know, from an analytics point of view what's happening in the network and be able to respond in real time. You know, so there are a lot of things we have to modernize in the OSS and BSS environment alongside all of these new orchestration solutions. So what's your message for, for telcos who are going through this process? What, what are the steps they need to take? Well, I think the answer really does vary by service provider. Uh, you know, some service providers uh, may be farther along towards a virtualized environment than others. Uh, so I think the answer really depends on the existing constraints and the existing capabilities of the operator and you know, what they have installed today in the OSS and BSS environment. There are a lot of variables at play there. I think the key is having a vendor partner that can operate from the very beginning of that OSS BSS stack all the way through and be able to help modernize that environment and provide new solutions at the same time. And that, that's really where we start to, uh, I think, differentiate ourselves from the competition. Now, we're seeing a, a lot about, we're hearing a lot about open solutions, um, especially in the context of SDN and NFV. Sure. Um, what exactly, though, does, does open mean? Because open seems to mean lots of different things to different people. In, in, in our context, what are we talking about when we, when we say open solutions? I think open solutions generally means um, operating on open standards and incorporating open source solutions uh, into the overall virtual network functions that you're trying to implement and ultimately deliver services on. Um, so open source has a very key role Right, in providing a lot of the elemental capabilities in NFV. Uh, and of course, it has a very important role in SDN control. So most of the SDN control solutions for operators today are based on open source. And that's really important because we need a community of innovators uh, to come together and to advance uh, SDN in a very uh, efficient and collaborative way. So is it important that we have quite wide ecosystems working on open solutions? Yeah, it's absolutely critical because you know, with an open source approach to, for example, SDN control, you know, we're going to have a very large community of innovators come together and advance the state of those solutions in a much faster way than if we were going to build operational silos and vendor-specific solutions that, of course, the industry wants to get rid of. 
Right, so uh, we think it's very important to embrace open source at particular parts of SDN and NFE architecture in order to advance innovation in order to make service providers move faster towards introducing new services and reducing costs in their network. Mark, thank you very much indeed. Uh, you're very welcome.